राजस्थान सीएम अशोक गहलोत प्रेजेंटेड द स्टेट बजट 2022-23 अशोक गहलोत प्रेजेंटेड द स्टेट बजट 2022-23 ऑन द 23rd ऑफ फेब्रुअरी लेस देन स्पैन स्टाइल इक्वल्स ग्रेटर देन विद द मेन फोकस ऑन एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड हेल्थ केयर लेस देन स्पैन ग्रेटर देन he said tourism and hospitality sector will be recognized as an industry in the state it is be raj khajuraho dance festival the 20th to the 26th of february 2022 the 48th khajuraho dance festival is being held from the 20th to the 26th of february 2022 in khajuraho madhya pradesh it is being organized on the theme of azadi ka amrit mahotsav During the event, the National Kalidas Award will be presented to eminent dancers for the years 2019-20 and 2020. It Ministry comes up with India Data Accessibility in Use Policy. The It Ministry has come out with a draft policy, India Data Accessibility in Use Policy. It proposes a framework for Center Blocks SFJ Link Punjab Politics TVS Digital Media Resources. The Union Ministry of Information and Broadcasting has banned the digital media resources of foreign-based Punjab Politics TV. The Grant Center Blocks SF Walmart Foundation announces grant to assist farmers in six states. The Walmart Foundation has announced a grant of over 40 million rupees that will assist farmers across six states in India to manage supply chain disruptions as well as sustain Dabur ties up with Indian Oil for direct to home sales. Dabur India has tied up Indian Oil in an exclusive partnership which will provide direct access to Dabur's products to around 14 crore Indian LPG consumer households across India. Mahindra Finance launches a deposit scheme to be offered digitally. Mahindra Financial Services Limited Mahindra Finance has announced the launch of a special deposit scheme for digitally savvy customers. Navi Mutual Fund launches Navi Nifty Midcap 150 Index Fund. Navi Mutual Fund has launched Navi Nifty Midcap 150 Index Fund. It is a passive equity scheme that will replicate the Nifty Midcap 150 Index, which represents the emerging companies of the country. Thumbs up ropes in Shah Rukh Khan as new brand ambassador. Coca-Cola India's soft drink brand Thumbs Up has onboarded Shah Rukh Khan as its brand endorser. Earlier in February 2022, IBM to launch its first cyber security hub in India. IBM Corp will be launching a cyber security hub in Bengaluru to address the concerns of its clients across the Asia Pacific. Renowned Malayalam actress KPAC Lalitha passes away. Noted Malayalam actress KPAC Lalitha passed away in February 2022. She won the national award for best supporting actress for her performance in the Malayalam film Oramuram Oran or Santamor. The film Rena India's Writing with Fire nominated for Oscars. The documentary or Writing with Fire or is one of the final 5 contenders for the best documentary feature category at the Oscars. The four India's Writing with Fire Presidential Colors to Four Parachute Battalions on the 23rd of February 2022 Chief of the Army Staff General M M Narawane on the 23rd of February 2022 presented the prestigious President's Colors or Nishan as popularly known in the army to four parachute battalions It has been present IAL Foundation Inc's pact with SVP UAT for educating farmers. Agrochemicals firm and insecticides India ETD IAL or SAM IAL Foundation has signed a pact with Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel University of Agriculture and Technology SVP UAT. The main pact IAL Foundation NIRDPR signs MAU with ICR Indian Institute of Millets Research. The National Institute of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj (NIRDPR) and ICR Indian Institute of Millets Research (ICRIAMR) have signed an All India Institute of Ayurveda launches Ayush Startup Challenge. All India Institute of Ayurveda (AIIA) in association with Startup India has launched the Ayush Startup Challenge or It.
Top 5 Organic Farmers Presented with Dhatmiter Awards Organic India PVT ETD, in association with Dada Saheb Falke International Film Festival felicitated the top 5 organic farmers with Dhatmiter Awards, in February or 22. PM Cares for Children scheme extended up to the 28th of February 2022. The Ministry of Women and Child Development has extended the PM Cares for Children scheme till the 28th of February 2022. Earlier the scheme was valid till the 31st of December 2021. It was PM Cares for Children scheme extend 25th meeting of Financial Stability and Development Council held. The 25th meeting of the Financial Stability and Development Council, FSDC, was held in Mumbai on the 22nd of February 2020. National Means Come Merit Scholarship to continue for five more years. The government has approved the continuation of the Central Sector National Means Come Merit Scholarship, NMMSS, for five years i.e. from 2021-22 to 2025-26. It will have a financial outlay of Rs. 1,827.00 crore with minor modifications in eligibility criteria. Signature tune of Vande Bharatam released. The signature tune for or quote Vande Bharatam or quote was released on the 22nd of February or 22. It has been composed by Grammy Award winner Ricky Cage and Oscar contender Bikram Ghosh. Hero Motocop, BPCL collaborate for large-scale EV infrastructure. Hero Motocop has collaborated with Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited to set up charging infrastructure for two-wheeled EVS. This is first such collaboration between an automotive OEM original equipment manufacturer with an oil sector. Lavender cultivation, under Aroma Mission to be started in Ramban.